Today I have a few recipes that I want to share with you to help you make fall a little bit more healthier. So as we wrap up summer and move into the colder weather, it gives us an opportunity to cook things like soups and stews and warming dishes. But it's also a time that we can turn to comfort food, things that are maybe not so healthy. So today I want to give you some ideas as to how you can include more healthy fall foods and how to get started. So let's dive in. I'm going to actually share my screen with you so you can see exactly what I mean. And then you can actually go and grab this guide uh, for free. So the, what I'm going to share on my screen is something that you can sign up for. Use the link that's here with this video. Click on it, enter your name, your email. You can log in, download this guide and tons of other stuff. I'm just giving a sneak peek inside one but there is a gazillion guides inside so let me show you what I mean and we'll go from there okay so here is what I have for you and it's called a healthy fall guide it's all about pumpkin but it's about so much more it's really healthy ways that you can use pumpkin in different fall foods so as you can see under seasonal we have healthy ways to cook with pumpkin and then healthy fall in general fall essential oil remedies things like that Today, what I want to show you are some of these recipes. And so the recipe that I first pulled up for you is something called pumpkin butter. So if you really love these warming, spicy um, smells and feels of fall, then you're absolutely going to love this. There's another one that's about pumpkin hummus. Pumpkin hummus is delicious. I love all hummus, but pumpkin hummus gives it a really, really nice flavor. And pumpkin itself is very, very nutritious. How about pumpkin ice cream or pumpkin protein balls? Now this is one that I know a lot of my clients love because they like having easy, handy, yummy snacks on hand for when the cravings do hit. If you feel like you want something really flavorful and sweet, then this is your, your turn to do it in a healthier way. It's a simple recipe. It's only a couple ingredients, but it's really, really healthy. So there's those pumpkin overnight oats. There's so many different ways that you can really dive in and start using pumpkin. And I actually share some of the different health benefits as well so that you can get some ideas just how you might use it in your life. So this guide, as I mentioned, is completely free. We talk about things like including fiber when I work with my clients and then I give them simple ideas as to how they can start doing that. Pumpkin is one of those great ways. So take advantage of fall being you know, this cooler weather that you're maybe turning into eating some more nourishing warm foods instead of turning to maybe the unhealthier comfort foods that maybe you're um, typically doing. So in this case, I want you to start doing some research, getting some ideas, getting in your kitchen, trying things out. Pumpkins are not just for carving for Halloween, but they're actually a really, really nourishing part of a healthy diet. So grab this guide, dive in, download it for completely free. There's a bunch of other ones there for you as well. And then let me know what you think. I cannot wait to hear.